Hi, I'm Alex Clinton and I have come to Stockton on Tees to see a music festival called Stockton Calling, which will play host to bands like John and the Ragmen, Abel Raise the Cane and the Pigeon Detectives, along with many others. This festival plays host to 60 bands in 8 venues on one day. Before I go to the event, I am going to meet Chris Cobain, one of the event's organisers, to see what it's like to organise something like Stockton Calling. Um, it can be very stressful, but it's also fun, you know. At the end of the day, um, it's not the worst job in the world you could have. Um, but uh, obviously, it, it is led by its success, and if you don't sell any tickets and nobody turns up, there's no worse feeling, really. Um, so it is fun pulling it all together, um, you know, and then on the day, as soon as it kicks off, you kind of really get into it and stuff, um, as long as you know it's a nice day people turn up and that kind of thing um but i think we've just been really lucky how it's sold out the last three three or four years so you know it's always been guaranteed a good audience and it's just been a really good day we've had good luck with the weather um and good luck with artists really as well after speaking to chris i had a clear view from the organizer's side now i wanted to go and speak to someone on the front line of stockton calling john harrison along with his band john and the ragmen would be performing on the day itself fantastic it's really good, really good atmosphere, really good buzz. Um, last year there was people dancing around, singing our lyrics back to us. It's really cool. We were confirmed long before we were actually publicly confirmed. So I'm trying to think. I can't even remember when he when he contacted me, but it was a while back. It was, I think it was December, January time. We don't play many many local gigs anymore, so. When we do play local gigs, they're usually busy, so we're looking forward to playing Stockton Calling. After speaking to John, I had some idea of what Stockton Calling had in store for me. Chris, the event organiser, had invited me to see one of the bands performing at the festival, the Fleck Pets. While there, I also went to see John and the Ragmen perform their set at Q-Bot. Once I had beaten the festival, I arranged to see Chris one last time to gather his thoughts on the event. Uh, what was your general thoughts on the event? Uh, it seemed to go well from everyone's part, you know. Um, had a lot of nice feedback on Facebook and things like that, and everyone I talked to seemed to really enjoy it. So, uh, looks like it was a good day for everyone involved, really. What next for the bands? I'd like to think for the locals, it'll give them a bit of confidence boost you know that they've had a, a venue full of 200 people coming to watch them you know and hopefully yeah work with them again but um yeah i wouldn't be surprised if you see a few of the the touring acts from who played the festival pop back up in the next few months what next for the event like where, where do you start as far as planning goes we'll, we'll probably have a, a little sit down and debrief in the next couple of weeks we'll leave it over the summer and then pick it back up in september time maybe um, once all the summer festivals are out the way, you know, uh, start the planning then, decide on what we're going to do capacity wise, whether we're going to add any more venues or whether we're going to stay the same and then try and make up a, uh, a wish list, I guess, you know, of, of artists that we'd like to play. With another sellout year for Stockton Calling, it seems to be a success and I hope that it can continue to keep going and continue to grow every year.